This was a good episode. I wonder what's going on with that blood. It seems to mutate people, make them different. So I'm guessing we're supposed to guess that that's how Strange made all these people with powers or something along those lines. I'm curious exactly what will happen to the chief now that, now that he's trying to change due to it. Will he become a monster or what? Definitely, definitely going to be curious to see what happens this season. We're learning slowly and gaining each of the various villains for Batman. Which makes me wonder, are we ever going to do a time skip? Are we ever going to get a Batman? Because I would totally love to see a Batman as part of the Arrowverse. Because then we can start doing the Justice League. Since we already have Supergirl and Superman and Flash and Arrow. But yeah, this is a good series. It's... Interesting. And as usual, it's the Penguin Hour. To me, the most interesting and exciting part about this series most of the time is Penguin. And bizarrely, the most least interesting things tend to be Bruce Wayne. You'd think he'd be the star, but he's never exactly the most interesting part of it. His side stories always seem forced. Like they're just not going anywhere. Very well. I don't know what their plans are for him. It'd be nice if we knew what they were going to do. Maybe we'll find out soon. But I almost want to see a bit skip ahead a bit more. Have him maybe not become Batman, but at least start taking on the persona of Batman. But we'll see. I definitely like the Mad Hatter. They did an interesting job of him, though. Especially at uh, factoring in D and Tweedledum into the mix. There was more a group of them. Each of the villains we've had had an interesting backstory. I'm just curious what the end goal is here. Especially characters like Fish Mooney who aren't in the comics. What are they going to do with her? I'd like to know. Let me know what you guys think.